We in here, man. Holidays, weekends. Trying to take over. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV. You're so worried about health, and maybe you should go on a diet, honestly. See, fat phobia is rooted in racism, so you are a racist oh. little baby. I'm a racist because I said you should probably go on a diet. I'm gonna prove to you why white people are the reason I'm fat today. What's going on, everyone? We are back with another episode of the Less Brunches, More Crunches podcast. I'm excited to be back. And um, I had a great week keeping it up in January. Um, Workouts going great, business picking up, uh, you know, family's doing well. I got zero complaints. Um, yeah, man, so uh, it looked like last week y'all really enjoyed that episode. I got a lot of views on it, a lot of likes, a lot of feedback. So, you know, I'm pretty excited. I really appreciate y'all tuning in and sharing the episode. So we, this 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 episode is going to be a little bit different. We We... We got to talk to the fellas again, man. It's been a while since I got on the fellas case. So, um, you know, I saw I came across a video on Instagram. Pretty interesting. This is a different kind of podcast, but we still talking about fitness and in real life. And so, you know, I'm sure people relate to this. I've dealt with this plenty of times in, in my uh, training career. And uh, so I, I think y'all like this one. So with that being said, man, let, me, let me play this video. Let's. Let's let's talk. All right. So let's get it. My woman has to have a female trainer because my, my thoughts and you let me know if I'm wrong, because my thoughts is if, you know, she, you know, it's another male encouraging my woman and building up my woman. That's not her father or right. me or her brother. Right. I'm a little worried. So, like, I mean, are, are were these women fucking their personal trainers or what? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is this is a this is a hell of a topic right here. <laughs> you know, like especially with with me being a, a male trainer, and then I train mostly women. So I train a lot of moms, a lot of wives, a lot of girlfriends. So this is this is crazy, man. <laughs> hey, any young male trainers, you got to deal with this like moving forward. So. This would be a good episode for y'all to watch, all right? So, before I get into it, there were three things that came to mind when I first uh, came across this topic. So, the first one, 2.8 million people die globally from obesity. So, obesity is not only a problem. I brought up the American stats a few weeks ago, which was 42% of people in America are obese, but... This stat, globally, 2.8 million people die um, a year from obesity. So this, this is a problem worldwide. So first of all, trainers, male and female, we, we're superheroes. We're life changers. So give yourself some credit. Pat yourself on the back because um, the ones that, that are really professional and really care, we're helping to solve a, a, a serious problem. So keep that stat in mind when I, when I break stuff down. The second thing that came to mind was... Um, you're doing your partner a disservice by 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 you know having this this petty mindset, um, not letting them go to a personal trainer because a lot of women specifically, they they didn't play sports so they have no idea what they're going to gym and do. It's not something natural like the, the going to the gym, lifting weights, doing a cardio regimen. It has to be taught. You know, most people are are, are taught their regimen. You don't just go in there and start doing stuff and figure it out. So. Um, uh, <laughs> and then number three, uh, that is, this is just selfish. That's super selfish. Uh, it, it because a lot of the guys that feel like that they go to the gym themselves, <laughs> and they're not training their girls. So, like I said, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna break this down. And uh, oh, I just thought of a fourth thing that wasn't even on there. I was talking to a girl about this earlier. A lot of women they they might need a male trainer because let's be real, like girls and their friends. Their friends aren't the most honest people with them. Like, girls naturally make themselves feel better. So, like, girl, you look good in that dress. You know, you, you good. You, it don't matter. It, it, it's still dudes in your DM anyway. It's still dudes in your DM anyway. You know what I mean? Like, and, and Shorty probably need to lose some weight. She's probably on path to, on, um, on the wrong path. So, on path to becoming obese. And so, uh, 
You know, a lot of times they might need that that male energy or that male direction just to to, to wake their ass up. So, all right, man, let's let's get into it. So, my personal opinion, that's one of the highest forms of insecurity uh, for a male to not I mean to not want his girlfriend to go to a, a male personal trainer. Uh, super insecure. Uh, I, I'm gonna break that down as well. And a couple months ago. I was uh I was at one of my friends. He he had like a little like a little kickback, and there was this girl there who you know she was she just got into the gym. She was excited, and I was like, okay, well yeah, I'm a trainer. And then there was there was a couple other you know girls there or you know a couple guys I I knew, and they were like, yeah, uh, C Marty's a good trainer. He know what he's doing. You should you should link with C Marty. And the girl was like, yeah, my my boyfriend won't let me train with a male trainer, and like. My thing is this, and, and and listen, I'm not cocky. I'm, I'm not acting like I'm the best looking person on earth. But like, why do you automatically assume I want your girl? Because like, shorty, she wasn't even like my type. So you sitting here worried about <laughs> what the male personal trainer is going to do and how he feels. I don't even want your girl, bro. I'm trying to get paid. Your girl's not bad, bro. You can let her go. To, you can let her go to a personal trainer. Like again, I'm not trying to be mean. Like a lot and. and that's the case with a lot of people, a lot of dudes. Your, your girl ain't all that. It's badder girls out here, so you 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 don't need to worry about that. Cause let's be real, like trainers are exposed to a lot of uh, pretty fit women. Like I'm talking top tier, bad. So nine times out of ten, if your girl needs a trainer, I'm probably not worried about her. All right, no cocky, but I'm just being real. I keep it real on my podcast. If this your first time listening, hey, I'm sorry. I keep it a hundred. Next thing, um, fellas, if you worried about your, your girlfriend uh, having relations with the trainer, you ain't got enough going on in your life, bro. You're not busy enough. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you if you busy getting getting money or you, you 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 know busy handling business, you ain't worried about you ain't worried about that. You're not worried about that. And if that's the case, and I'm gonna keep bringing this up, if you think your girl not solid, you don't need to be with her. You really don't need to be with her because, you know, a lot of trainers are, we're busy. I ain't got time to be be juggling multiple girls, and let alone clients. And and it's 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 weird. And like I said, I do mostly group sessions and, and train women. Like, I'm telling you this. I mean, I'm going to bring this up again later in the podcast. Like, having, having that kind of energy in your business, dog, not a good look. Not a good look at all. Um... So y'all need to do your research, find a legit trainer. And oh, I don't know how to research a good trainer. Listen, y'all research ho- what hotels and resorts to stay at. Y'all research what restaurants to <laughs> to eat at. Y'all research what rappers and actors own certain liquor and alcohol brands. I ain't trying to hear that shit, man. Do your research and figure it out. Ask around. People go, you know somebody that go to the gym, man, talk to people, figure it out, figure out who's professional and who's not. People talk. And if somebody's unprofessional, more than likely, you can find somebody who went to that trainer. And, and, and especially if you're in a DMV, people talk all the time. It's, it's small. I'm, I promise you, I be knowing, I, it be trainers, I don't even know them personally. And I've heard that they're unprofessional. So do your research, fellas. Stop being lazy. Like, all this insecure bullshit is crazy. Um... And oh my God, this right here, and this goes back to an episode I addressed a couple weeks ago. Like you, so scared of a trainer smashing your girl that you you allow her, to, <laughs> you allow her to go to a female trainer because you you know the female is not going to smash her. But this female got surgery. She's promoting waist trainers. She's promoting flat tummy tee, and she just got your girl and and, and some straight bullshit. Uh, and look, bro, I seen it, and I do call people out on this podcast, but I can't call out everybody on this podcast. But I seen it in person with my own eyes, dog. Like dudes allow their girl to go to to the most bullshit female trainers, and it's bullshit male trainers too. Don't get me wrong, but they'll do it just to avoid. Oh yeah, this, he gonna talk to my girl, man. Step your game up, dog. Like, come on, bro. And that that leads me to like this. This the thing. I see, at, at me being in the gym all these years, I've seen plenty of dudes send their girl to a different trainer. 
like plenty of gym dudes, plenty of dudes at work. I was send, send their girl to a different trainer because like it's it's it, I've trained girlfriends and women I'm talking to. It's hard. It's hard. Like I can't coach. I can't coach them and be their boyfriend. So in my experience, I've like I've paid other trainers to train my girl. Just so I don't have to, just so I don't have to deal with it. I can focus on my business. I can focus on my workouts, and she could get the coaching that she needs. Like, bro, if the trainer end up smashing her, then that's that's not the one for me, bro. Like, it's just, it's, it's 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 cool. But like, if you focus on your grind and you understand how how important that coaching is, you're not gonna be worried about that. So, and nine times out of ten, the dudes worried about it. You're not fit. You don't have muscles. You not in, you 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 got man titties. You probably overweight or you or you skinny as hell. You need to put some muscle on. So why don't you go on the gym grind? Send your girl to a trainer and you get on your gym grind because she you probably worried about the trainer because you feel like he more attractive than you. Like come on, let's be real. Let's be real, dog. I had a at the beginning of last year. Yeah, about a year ago, I had a girl. All right, she did one month with me. She was doing really well. She got like crazy 30 day results because she, she went like super strict on her meal plan. I was seeing her three days a week. And like one day she came in, she came <laughs> she came to the gym and like she was just funky, like not smell, but like her attitude, funky as hell. I'm like, what's wrong with you? She's like, ah, my boyfriend don't want me to wear these shorts around you. So I had to put on these big ass sweatpants. Like, bro, come, dog, bro. I'm trying to get paid. I got bills. I got shit I'm trying to accomplish. I'm not worried about your girl, dog. I promise I'm not. It's it's and listen, fellas, it's more of them out here than us. Don't be messing with your clients. It's not worth it. Like y'all making a and I'm talking to the male trainers that's unprofessional. Y'all making a bad rap for the industry. Stop doing that shit. Like, but I I listen, I ain't got time for that. And so I lost some money in my pocket because the dude was insecure. Like, I ain't got time for that shit, bro. And like I said, I train plenty of wives, <laughs> girlfriends, and I've, and I've, most, you know, I, I don't have this issue typically, but it's happened so many times, man. Like, and I, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't got time to be losing money about my pocket. I take my, my, my money serious, you know? Um, but yeah, fellas, if you, if you fit, that's not happening, bro. It, it's just, it's really not, it, like, and I'm going to tell you this, a lot of, not a lot, majority, probably 99% of fit women, they want a fit man. Like, they want a fit dude. So that's another sign that if you feel like your girl's attracted to the trainer, you, you're not, you need to get it together. And, and I'm not saying that's all women, but like, I'm just, just most women in the gym want a, want a fit dude. And, and the number one complaint I hear about gym women is the men approaching them are not fit they don't have no muscles like the no the girl don't want somebody who she lifts more than and i'm just telling you right now like that's that's gonna be a disaster at some point it's, it's it is it's, it's gonna be and this brings me to another point that i just thought about yo it's like the the fitness industry like things can happen in the workplace and it gets looked over. But because it happens in the fitness industry, it's 10 times worse than any other workplace. Right? So, <laughs> you'll have, like, people that work in the fire department sleeping with each other. The police department sleeping with each other. Uh, financial department. HR sleeping with <laughs> somebody in marketing. Like, it happens all the time. The CEO messing with his, with his mistress. I mean, I'm sorry. The CEO messing with his assistant, who's his mistress on the side. Like, it happens all the time. But it's like, if it happens in fitness, it's just way worse than anything else. And my thing is this. Like, if, your girl want, if you feel like your girl going to cheat with the trainer, if she feel like she has that tendency, and you purposely keep her away from a trainer, she could cheat somewhere else. She'd go to the club and cheat. She could go to work and cheat. Like, bro, like, get out that relationship. It's not on the trainer, dog. Like, oh, my goodness. I mean, I hear so many stories of people meeting at work and then they married or people meeting at work and they dating and somebody got fired and this and that. Like, it happens in the workplace. So I don't know why it's all of a sudden it's just worse at the uh, at, at the training level. And I understand, like... The, a lot of to get results, you gotta be with your trainer three, four times a week, five, whatever, how many, how many days. So your woman is is spending a lot of time around that male trainer, 
but it's all it's an hour like i it's 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 literally one hour so i i would hope that you're able to to put more than uh you know one hour times three or four three four hours a week i hope you're giving your girl more time than that throughout the week because most of my clients once they leave the session i'm not really talking to them like that like you know they might send me a text here and there we might have a conversation but I'm not talking to my clients 24-7 when I leave the gym. And, you know, at a certain time at night, my phone is on Do Not Disturb. So a lot of the messages I get from my client, if it's at a certain time of night, I don't, I'm not responding until the next morning. So, fellas, you got to do better. You got to pick that confidence up. And I'm telling you, go on a fitness journey. For real, fellas, like, you, your whole mindset is going to change towards it. Um, because if, if you're worried about, you know, getting your meals in, you're worried about getting your getting your six pack tight worried about growing your chest you're not gonna be thinking about something like that and like not I, your your girl's gonna appreciate it she's gonna appreciate that you you know you you getting your mind right you're getting your body better so fellas that's just soft that's weak as hell bro that is the like that's some of the weakest shit i've, I've even had dudes like yeah I would, I would never send my girl to you bro i would never send my girl to you Whole time, you, your man titties is, is the gravity pulling them down. They sagging. Come on, bro. Get it together. And I, like I said, you would not think like that if you were on your own grind. Man. And what's crazy is it be the dudes like they be. Never mind. Let me stop. I ain't going to do that. But <laughs> I can't do the fellas like that. <laughs> I can't do the fellas like that. But no, nah, like, oh, man. I, I've, it's, it's crazy, bro. And. It's a hard job. New 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 trainers that are that are pursuing this this career, it's tough. Like even when I go spot people, it's it's people looking at me funny. Like if a girl's squatting I'm behind her, even though it's a certain amount of space, people people looking at me funny. And you know I had um, I don't think I told this story on the podcast, but you know podcast full of stories. But I had a guy. Um, he he approached me. I was like, you know, I had my group upstairs training, and I had to run to the bathroom real quick. You know, sometimes I gotta go pee. I'm drinking my gallon of water. I've been training for a couple hours. I gotta go pee. So I ran to go pee, and the guy stopped me. He was like, "Hey, hey, bro, you you um you talking to the light skinned girl?" I'm like, "No, I'm not. I'm not talking to her, bro." He's like, "You sure you don't talk?" To her? I'm like, "Bro, that's my client. Like, it's that's business." He's like, so um, you know, you you wouldn't care if I go get her number, bro. What? I said, go get her number. Go get her number, bro. Dude walks up there. <laughs> and mind you, I didn't know he meant in the middle of his, her session. I thought he was going like, you know, wait around till she was done. This dude approached her in the middle of the session, walked up to her like, while she was transitioning from one exercise to the next, bro. She curved the hell out of, like, man, she, bruh, my man looked like a sad puppy dog walking away when she curved him. But again, like, it was a dude, like, I'm pretty sure she lifts more than him. Like, just looking at her and looking at him, she's stronger than him. And she's, she's still built like a lady. Like, she, she has a, a girlish figure, you know, a feminine figure, but she just, she's strong. But like I said, she looks stronger than him. So, naturally, she's into guys who are strong, so. I mean, you just, fellas, you're setting yourself up for disaster if that's the case. And then you should want your girl to, to get better. You should you should want her to go to the gym and, and, and eat healthier and try to shed some fat off her body, lose some pounds. Like, you, you should want a girl that's ambitious and, and cautious about things like that. You shouldn't want some girl who's just sitting around lazy. Because nine times a ten, you sitting around lazy. And y'all, and that's miserable lives. And that's where this body positivity shit comes from. Just like I was talking about last week on my last week's episode. So, uh, that's the thing, man. Fellas, get it together. Get in the gym. Go on a journey. Your mindset's going to change. And that just, you know, this is a little off topic. But I just got to, you know, fellas in the gym, bro. Sometimes, I, I think I got to find a new gym to work, out, work out at. And I've said this before and... and I didn't do anything, so pretty much right now, I'm I'm pretty much right now. Stop the cap. <laughs> I'm capping right now because I still ain't finding a new gym. Stop the cap. But um, <laughs> I'm in the gym yesterday, man, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm, my headphones blasting. I'm going hard. You know, I'm doing rack pulls. I got 315 on the bar. 
about to go up to 405, you know, I'm locked in. And this dude comes up and just starts, to, bro, just talking about nothing. Like, literally, bro, I can't even recall the conversation. I don't know what he's talking about. Like, dog, you see me, like, and I'm not laughing at your jokes, bro. Shut up. Go lift. Skinny dude, go lift, bro. Dudes, we y'all be talking too much in the gym. Like, I mean, and, and it's certain dudes, like, you got to have a long conversation. Every time you see me, like, bro, I'm locked in. I'm trying to lift. I, and you can say what's up to me. Like, cool. Say what's up. Make a joke. Keep it moving. Like, it's literally people I avoid in the gym sometimes because they just want to talk. Like, don't be coming up to people on the machines, starting a conversation, especially if somebody looks serious. And don't do that to women. Like, it's women trying to, well, some of this shit is fake. But there's women trying to expose dudes now for coming up in the gym and, and talking to them like, fellas, <laughs> we just, when it comes to this gym, man, we, we just got to get our shit together. Like, we well, just focus on getting your body right. And a lot of the problems and the insecurities and the issues will go away. So, that's all I got to say, man. Oh, and also, I'm still screen recording my, my client's stories because my client's on some bullshit. Um... One of my clients, it's her birthday this weekend. I think she blocked me from her story because I screen recorded it. I don't know who told her, which one of y'all told her, but stop snitching. Podcast fam. I don't appreciate that. So I'm gonna put her little I'm gonna put her little uh her little thing right here, what she did this weekend. So <laughs> take a look at it. <laughs> but um Hold on, man. Let me let me play this video again just to make sure it's anything. If there's anything else I need to address, so let's check it out for the last time. My woman has to have a female trainer because my my thoughts. And you let me know if I'm wrong because my thoughts is if you know she, you know it's another male encouraging my woman and building up my woman that's not her father or right. me or her brother. Right. I'm a little worried. So like, I mean, are are were these women fucking their personal trainers or what? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, do y'all think this dude works out? Does he look like he works out? Cause them arms look a little, they look a little small to me. So again, this is like I just mentioned. It's coming from somebody who is not in the gym. You know, bench pressing, pull ups, push ups, bicep curls, tricep. He's not doing that. Um, it, it's, 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 it, it, he does not. Um, let me look at him again. Yeah, he he doesn't look like he, he's not he's not obese or anything, but he doesn't give give me uh you know the, he doesn't look like a muscle guy. So um, and then uh, what, I mean this is he he mentioned the father and what did he say father and oh, I'm gonna play it again. Sorry y'all. My woman has to have a female trainer because my my thoughts and you let me know if i'm wrong because my thoughts is if you know she, you know it's another male encouraging my woman and building up my woman that's not her father or right. me or her brother right i'm a little worried so like i mean are are were these women fucking their personal trainers or what i ain't gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's another thing too like why is it that the personal trainer has to get the bad rap she i'm pretty sure you know if most women in this country work so you probably she probably has a boss who's encouraging her, building her up, giving her instructions, criticizing her, telling her when she's right or wrong. Like, are you assuming he's fucking her too? Oh, excuse my language. Dang, I don't really be cussing like that. But like, come on. Why the personal trainer gotta get the bad rap? She probably around the boss more than no, she is she's around the boss more than the personal trainer. So like, that's just crazy. I mean, that just has insecurity written all over it. Um and I mean, you can go to my page, you can go to my website, it's 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 super professional, man. Like you can ask people about me. Nobody's gonna give you that nobody most most male trainers, you're not gonna get stuff like that. You know, of course there are guys who who, who mess it up for everybody, but just don't send them there I and mean, do your research. So <sighs> with that being said, man, another episode of the Less Brunches, More Crunches podcast. Um I'm killing it, man. I'm loving this podcast thing. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it right now, so I appreciate y'all. And we out. See y'all next week. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV.